Hello and welcome. Today, the star of the show is my very own Coco. The first computer I ever had, I had when I was nine years old. It was a Coco One 4K. And over the several years after that, I made a couple exchanges and upgraded a couple times. And I ended up with the Coco 2 64K. And I still have it to this day. Uh, during that time, very slowly I started to see old, well, new at the time, Macintoshes come out and IBM PC compatibles come out and they all had lowercase and I didn't have lowercase and that was okay. I loved my Coco, but I did kind of feel that absence. It did kind of feel like my computer was childish in a way, like not quite as professional as the other computers. It wasn't until a couple months ago that I started to do some research and found out about the MC6847T1, the upgraded video display generator that actually has the capability to do lowercase and other stuff. And I started to wonder, did I get my Coco 2 late enough in the cycle that it was one of those with the T1? And the more I looked into it, the more I started to get a little confident that it was. The uh, case says Tandy color computer instead of TRS-80 color computer. And the font for the alphanumeric character set has a couple of those changes that you would expect from the T1 and not from the original 6047. So I actually think I might be capable of doing lowercase, but I've never seen this and I've been waiting until I could finish up those prior videos and do that research to actually try this out on my Coco and see what I actually have. So today we're going to find out together. Do I have the T1? Can I do lowercase? I'm going to hook it up to my CRT TV to try it out because it's just not the same if I try it out on my PC monitor. I'm used to seeing lowercase there. That's not really a big deal, but I've never seen lowercase on my TV. So, Let's find out, do I have a T1? I've got my Coco hooked up to my CRT. Uh, my hope is that I will see some lowercase and it will be the first time I've ever seen lowercase on this CRT. The reason I think this is likely is the zeros have a slash through it. Capital O's are rounded. So I feel pretty good about this. So I have a very simple app that I can type in some sentences and then it will print them back for me, but it will do that poke. And that should enable the lowercase and the uh, border. Here we go. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I had this all along. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Yeah. Getting a little excited. Now I'm going to run my garbage app and take a tour with my real Coco. Here's lowercase. We can reverse. 
order. Oh my gosh. The uh, colors are kind of screwy coming through the phone, unfortunately. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Certainly not the lowercase. This is nuts. So now that I know it works, I'm gonna run a little app that should keep the lowercase mode sticked, stuck. So I can stay in that mode while I do basic stuff. And I'll show you what this code does later. But you can see it just changed the border, which is pretty cool. And if I wanted to type in new code, How cool is that? Change colors. You'll see that the border stays green. But lowercase is still enabled. So what is that code doing? So this poke here You've seen in a previous video, this is just telling the, the VDG that the mode you want to enable is zero, but add a bit for lowercase and a bit for the border. This is kind of the mystery poke, and this mystery poke says, whatever I do here, just make it stick. And in an upcoming video, I will talk about how that works. I got that from the blog that you see on the screen right now, and I put a link to that in the description so you can take a look. They didn't really say how it worked, uh, so I'm going to try to explain based on how I what I understand what it's doing. But let's do another one. Stick reverse. So this one, the only difference is instead of turning on the border, we turn on reverse mode. And now we're in reverse. And I still have, I do, I still have lowercase. Reverse it. Reverse it. Reverse it. And again, it stays even though we change the color. This is pretty neat, so this could be your mode. This could be your mode on your Coco while you make your programs. So as a final experiment, I am running a comparison between my physical Coco 2 and XROAR and T-Mode, T1 mode. I'm using my new capture card. You can tell pretty immediately there's quite a quality difference and also the colors are quite different. But I don't know who to blame on that. Is XROAR inaccurate or is my combo of my Coco and my VCR and the Elgato, is that making all the colors go wonky? Who's correct? Who's to say? I don't know. But it's fun to look at, isn't it?